Okay, so last time we, uh, I just realized I made my, t uh, my title climbing the tower because we we're going to do 3-2, but um, we're not going to do 3-2, we're going to do the Storm Lord. Lord of the Storms, heckin' Mr. ACDC himself uh, over here in 4-2, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3. Four or three. Um, I could maybe dump these 10k souls. I'm in body farm, which is great. Uh, so spirit farm, which is great. I'm not in body farm, which is why I'm at. Three levels, nice. Okay, we done, we done. A little bit more vit. I can't really see the difference, but I'm sure it's it's in there somewhere. <laughs> Can't really see the difference. Right, so we're going to go back to the old hero archstone, which was the last thing we did last night. Thank God we got the old hero first try because I flipping hate 4-2. Oh, as you guys will have seen from the rage. It's just the actual start of that level and the middle bit and the end bit, actually. It's all terrible. <laughs> it's really hard. It could really do with some kind of shortcut. Um, the boss is not particularly hard, but it's just the fact that I know he could one-shot me if I make one mistake and then I have to do the whole level again. Um, so you get here and basically a theme with the final sort of area is you usually go straight to the boss. The exception to that is, uh, World 1, Voltarian Palace. You have, like, Voltarian Palace is the only place that has, uh, four archstones rather than three. Um... Sorry, four bosses rather than three bosses, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, so this is pretty much, going through here is pretty much the next boss immediately, which is kind of cool and also kind of scary. <laughs> you guys hear me telling you that I hate the Star Beast? Let's go, there's lots of them, let's go! <laughs> he is pretty though. Pretty annoying. This, like a lot of the final arch demons, is a gimmick boss. Actually, kind of all the arch demons are gimmick bosses, really. Apart from Alant. <laughs> he's just hard. Um, look, he's got them all on his tummy, pecking, breastfeeding them, nursing them from his bosom. Here they come. Oh lord, they're coming. Hello, look! Thank you for the host to try. Hello, Daniel! Hello, Abs! Oh, uh, here he is. He big, he beautiful, he got one big eye. I have no grass on my bars! Hang on, maybe I can quickly... <laughs> um, maybe I can quickly just put some grass in my house. Oh no, the word that came out, I didn't mean to. Um, didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Uh, right, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, we're gonna go straight for the Storm Ruler. Let's go straight there. I can, let's go. Let's, let's heck and go. Let's heck and go. Hitless, let's do it. First try hitless. Let's go. I'm wearing the thief's ring so I don't disturb the crystal lizards, but even if we do, it's not the end of the world because we have the dragon bone smasher, so it's fine. Um, there are two crystal lizards here. You want to try not to disturb them. Uh, he's over there. He's chilling. And then you go over to this heck and beautiful sword in the stone. Withdraw. Um, Storm Ruler! So now those of you who have played Dark Souls 3... Oh, sugar! Oh no, I disturbed him. Uh, those of you who have played Dark Souls 3 are gonna be fine. You're gonna be absolutely fine with this boss, because you know what to do. You know what's involved. So the cool thing about this sword is I believe it's got no uh, equip requirements. Yeah, so like anyone, even a level 1 character can equip it, so... I'm not sure if the Yarm one is the same. I believe it is. Right, so this is your safe spot right here in the corner of this house. The sword is really, really cool. I wish it was more viable like as an actual weapon, but it's pretty much only for this fight. So what you can do is, literally, R2 attack two-handed. You just try your luck at trying to get some of the stingrays. We got one there. Takes a lot of stamina. We got another one there. Nice, nice. Um, but you can always, like, sort of return here to this corner. Don't know if we got another one there. <clears throat> it's like a unicorn horn, yeah! 
Oh, I just missed that one there. So we can try and get a little bit more brave and see where they are. It's one there. Ah, I missed it. Oh, we got him. Cool. So we need to take down a few before the Storm King will sort of descend. I believe this sword has like ridiculous um, durability as well, although it says 10. I basically, I don't think it ever breaks from doing the R2. So I think you can literally just sit here in safety until you get them. I've been wrong before though. <clears throat> we can get a little bit brave maybe. Hey, thank you for the follow. Oh, I think he's coming. Nice, I got two there. Oh, he's coming. You can see him. Hi, MJ. Welcome in, we're just fighting the Storm King. Oh, he descending, he descending. Oh, I can't, he drops something on you. He like dive bombs you with something, but I can't remember what. Where is he? All right, he's there, he's there, get him. Oh, he's too far away. Queen, hello. Hope works okay for you. Maybe that wasn't quite him descending because uh, couldn't hit him. Oh, hi, how did that miss me? Oof, oof. But yeah, this is a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> oh, hang on, here he is, here he is. You can see him coming a lot lower. Perfect. Oh, he's really low now. Right, we just hide here. Try and get into the wall. Oh, he's right there. Why am I not hitting him? There we go, we got him. Okay. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. The cool thing about this sword is literally you can you can you can do it through the wall. And then these guys tend to shoot the wall instead of you. Love it. Here's your crown, your majesty! Uh, the stingrays don't respawn if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, they're a good before. <laughs> He shoots some kind of poison that doesn't ever really seem to hurt you if you're here, so... Oh, we got another hit! Another hit! Nice! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Oh, I thought we might have gotten a hit on the boss there as well. He large. He very large. If I've gotten all the little ones down... Oh, there's still one there. I was gonna say we could take a little... Take a little, uh, take a little sneaky cheeky peeky. Right, he's over there. <clears throat> we can get brave. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, hag! <laughs> we can get brave, she says. <laughs> Whoa, look at this guy. He's amazing, like flipping design wise. I love this boss, I think it's really cool. I really love the gimmick bosses in this game. Um, I love them in any game, like I love Bed of Chaos. Like as much as I hate it, I also love it. Um, so yeah, I really like this boss. Uh, here is a Holy Arrows, which is a hint as if to say like, I'll oh, just shoot it with a bowl lol. Um, which could also work, like we could do that. We could do that with a bow. Uh, can't seem to two-hand it. There we go. So we could hide here and literally just do this. 161? Oh, why didn't I do that from the beginning? <laughs> why didn't I just do that from the beginning? Oh, I guess the, the Storm Ruler is really good if you don't have the dexterity uh, for a bow. Uh, 40,000 souls, not, not to be sniffed at. Um... A couple, you will find some Cloudstone just dotted about from like, obviously, the, the the Stingray dudes. Cloudstone, did I say Cloudstone? I meant Cloudstone. Good cheese! It's not even a cheese, that's literally how you're meant to do it. 
the game directs you to the storm ruler, directs you to this wee house, gives you arrows. Like, you're meant to do it that way. <laughs> like, you can only, you can't fight him, like, head on. Uh, we've got some grass there, which, like, to be honest, when they're, w when you first get here, they're all flying around. You just, you just make a break for the sword. Don't bother picking anything else up. Now, uh, there is another crystal lizard that I'm gonna get my other sword for. Just here. It's around the corner here, I'm sure. Or maybe he ran away. He might have ran away. I was sure he was over here, though. Do I not have the thief string on? Oh no, I do. He's here somewhere. Yeah, maybe he ran away. I didn't. I didn't see. I was too like nervous. <laughs> you can obviously reload. You can like sit here, thief string on, reload, just like go into here, load profile, and then the crystal lizard should respawn. Uh, are the souls you get from killing baddies the souls of the folks the baddie has killed? It is uh, strongly implied that is the case, Bixie. Yeah. Uh, this is maybe the only game that really implies that though like that the, the the demons do just go around like stealing souls like i'm sure it's in a soul description it says like well if you leave it here it's just gonna get picked up by a demon anyway yeah even if you leave this be it'll only become nourishment for demons in which case we may as well take it and use it ourselves i like that and there's a shiny over here betsu is battiful Oh, chunks of cloud stone. So there are shards, chunks, and then the final upgrade is pure. Right, that's everything here. Uh, so storm demon soul and a pure cloud stone. So for the final upgrade on a cloudy weapon, I mix up the weapon upgrades all the time. What's cloud stone again? Cloud stone is uh, magic. Oh, enhances shields in particular. An ore that blocks light and increases a shield's capacity to block magic. Shields can be strengthened. Also, Cloudstone upgrades a magic, a magic absorbing shield. Very good. Right, to return to the Nexus. There is a 69 in my soul count, lol. So we are in body form once again, but as you will notice, uh, the Shrine of Storms is in pure white tendency, which is really cool. Uh, we can go and get the tenancy event, which is in 4-2. And then we can get the, the black tenancy event, which is always really fun. Did you guys know that um, Patches is literally in every single game, including Bloodborne? He's not really in Sekiro though, which kind of sucks. It would have been nice to have some kind of throwback to him. Uh, he is Patches the Hyena in Demon Souls, Trusty Patches in Dark Souls. Um, something, what's Pate's name? Something Pate? Trusty Peach in Dark Souls 2, Unbreakable Patches in Dark Souls 3, and Patches the Spider in Bloodborne. In Dark Souls 3 The Ringed City, he is Amnesiac Lap as well. Sorry, who be Patches? Patches is FromSoft's incarnation of FromSoft. Patches is the troll character. He frequently tricks you, um, c uh, like kicks you down holes to your death. Uh, Mild Mannered Pate! Thank you, Blob. That's it. Mild Mannered Pate. Um, and he sort of became like a, a, a mainstay in the series. He's in the- that's right, UJ, he's in the, the Tomb of the Giants. That's right. Yeah, he's a ball bag. So if we go back to the- right. Old uh, adjudicator at the start. Back to the best area! The best! <laughs> I'll show you where the- there's always one thing that unlocks when you get pure white. Do you want to kill yourself first? I don't think I'm gonna die. I don't think I'm gonna die, Eric. Between here and there. Uh, I, I might, uh, but no, all I literally have to do is go down here, so I think we're okay. And then I can kill myself on purpose, um, which will be good for getting this world pushed towards pure black. So we gotta be careful here, make sure you're wearing the ring of the ring of thieves. <laughs> Here we go. So this shiny that was once... <gasps> oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's that? Hello? Thanks! Thanks, thank you very much for the gift sub skittles. You're now a sob. Enjoy the lovely things. 
that lovely people get because Six is lovely and he thinks you're lovely too. I'm not gonna die, she says. I forgot about the phantom, she says. Alright, get this. Magic sword Murakumo. Heckin. Ya yeet the I got backstabbed! <laughs> okay, well at least At least we got the white tendency event. Guys, it's fine. It's actually fine. My souls are down there, which isn't fine. But we got the white tendency event. I'm totally fine with dying there. It's fine. We got the Murakumo, so we can check that out. We actually didn't really get much chance to check out the um, the Storm Ruler, which I've put in the bank now, but we'll go and have a look at that in a sec. This is the Mak oh, Makoto! Makoto! I was thinking Murakumo because that's the name of the sword in Dark Souls. Makoto is what it's called in this. People who are like hacking Demon Souls aficionados were like... Detention. Right, Makoto. Uh, it is pretty good, actually. Um, no scaling though, but it has bleed effects, which is kind of cool. Um, an ill-rumored katana mentioned in folklore. It is named for a giant in a distant country. Makoto, the heckin' star of Danganronpa, the giant. When its unique long blade meets skin, it tears it apart into a wound that is said it will never heal. It is a cursed weapon that devours the wielder's life energy. But despite this, warriors continue to be drawn to this katana. The really cool thing about this sword is it's really good for setting up red tearstone range, which is called Clever Rat's Ring in this game. So basically, you can put this ring on, uh, this one, So and then literally put the Mukoto on here. And you'll notice the longer you wear it, it literally drains your health. It's very slight, like you probably need to be on 1080p to see it. <laughs> so you can literally sit and just hold this sword and wait until the red tear stone clever rat's ring activates at 30% health and then you have a, a huge damage boost. Uh, but yeah, you can see my health going down. So that's that's why this weapon is pretty good. Um, we can now do the black tendency event. Uh, black Phantom Satsuki. Uh, the primeval demon is in 4-2. We don't need to do that, but you can go looking for him in 4-2. I am Satsuki. I seek a keepsake of my father. Have you seen the sword inscribed? Makoto, I will offer you demon souls if you can help me find it. Actually, I have, yeah. Ah. You have found the Makoto, have you? Bless your good fortune. And, well... Your good work. Now, just hand the Makoto over to me. Okay, I think that his sort of, um, his dodgy voice is meant to kind of, mm, it's meant to kind of like trigger your suspicion meter. Um, they created a similar character with the Murakumo in Dark Souls, but I've forgotten the guy's name because I just mind blank when I'm streaming. Um, yeah, they just hand it over. So we've already found this sword, we know it's use, it could be really useful, and now him being like, give us it. We had a tendency event back in the second world where the guy just wanted to see the sword, he just wanted to see it. And he let us keep it because he was cool, but now this guy wants us to give him it. There's three outcomes, which I think is hilarious. What do we think we should do? Should we, there's, th there's three options. Either I can give him the sword, or I could not give him the sword. The other option I can't really do right now because the other option involves uh, equipping it. Maybe I can walk away. Yeah, I wouldn't give him it. Give him it for tip. For, you think I should attack him? Oh, killing NPCs is. Uh, that's going to shift my tendency, although that's what we want to do anyway. Drop it and run. Oh, Parrot has good instincts. No sword, no give. Right, so you guys are all saying kind of no, so I'm just going to try walking away and see if we can do the troll option. Yeah, yeah, so walking away means you don't... Right, so um, let's uh, let's put it on. I can show it off a little bit. <laughs> Expecting the Makoto to warm up to you. 
nonsense. Your very touch soils her impeccable hilt. May you plunge to the depths of hell for your unsavory insolence. And he flippin' attacks you! <laughs> oh my god. I think it's hilarious. He's like, how dare you wield that sword? I got a bigger sword now, mate. Oh, he angry. <laughs> so basically, the thing is with Satsuki is if you gave him the sword, he goes, thanks, and tries to kill you with it. If you don't give him the sword, he goes, how dare you, and tries to kill you and take it off you. And if you flaunt it in front of him, he goes, I am insulted, <laughs> and he tries to kill you. <laughs> so now that we have killed him, we are now minus four, so we're minus one towards black. We need to die a couple times more to get to pure black, I think. Yeah, pure black to get his um, black phantom to show up and we can kill him again. That could be fun. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and die as a human, which will shift our world tendency down towards black. The sun is too loud, turn it down. <gasps> Woo! I'm well, thank you, T. How are you? We're in minus three at the minute, which means that the primeval demon spawns. It spawns sort of midway through 4-2. Die a couple more times, you'll get pure black, and then right at the start there, where we, where we killed Satsuki, he spawns as a black phantom. Plus, killing Satsuki and killing the primeval demon will then push your world back into white tendency. <laughs> 